everyone, it's Dorka. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, then welcome. I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. I'm a Hungarian girl currently living in Taiwan, and I make videos about my life here, fitness, and all kinds of things that I'm interested in. So today I thought I would make a video with my top five tips for stairs running races because there's gonna be one here in Taipei very soon in less than three weeks, the Taipei 101 run up that I registered to participate in. So I am currently training for that as well and I thought I would help out any others that would like to participate either in Taipei 101 run up or any other kinds of similar races. So I hope it will be informative and helpful for you guys. If you have have done races like this before and you have other tips that I didn't mention please leave them down in the comments below let's share our experiences and let's prepare for this together so yeah that's it let's just get started my first tip is to give yourself time and prepare for it gradually even if you're doing all other kinds of sports if you're not doing any stairs training usually then your body needs a special training for it and don't just give yourself one week or just a few days to run up a few stairs and think it will be fine. Give yourself at least four to six weeks, train once or twice a week, and then uh, you will definitely be prepared enough for it. Also, uh, just check how many steps the race that you're going to participate in uh, will consist of. For example, Type A 101 run up is about 2,000 stairs. So if you're not very good at running up the stairs or just walking up the stairs, at your first trainings, don't try to do the whole thing. Maybe start out with doing just 25% of the steps or just do half of it and then gradually increase the number of stairs uh, until you get to the complete number. For example, if it's 2000 steps at the first few trainings, you could just do, let's say, 500 and then you could go up to 1000 and then a few weeks before, let's say, two weeks before the race, you could get to 2000. Regularly do the 2000 steps and then just focus on improving your time if that's one of your goals. <laughs> My second tip would be to fuel your body. Uh, as any other race, your body will need lots of energy in order to complete it. So I suggest you to have a proper meal about one, one and a half hours before your starting time. This will make sure that your body will have time to digest a little bit, everything for it to absorb, but you will also not feel sick because of running right after your meal. However, apart from that uh, pre-race meal, about half an hour before you could get some simple carbs. It can be either chocolate, candy, some fruits, and if you're worried that your energy will not last throughout the whole race, you could also get some of those uh, packets, the little gel packets or just energy packets that runners also use. You can just put it in your pocket and then if you feel a little bit shaky, feel a little bit weak throughout the race, you can easily just grab that, uh, eat it and it will um, absorb very, very quickly. And my third tip is to warm up your joints. When it comes to races, most people usually do remember to do a warm up, to do some stretches. However, a lot of them neglect warming up their joints. And um, sports like stairs running can be especially harsh on your joints, especially on your knees. So it's very important to take some time and warm those parts up as well. You can do lots of circular motions with them. You can do some very, very simple movements. Also, you could just just, it sounds silly, but it will help you, I promise. You can also just like very quickly rub your the outsides of your knees, the outsides of your ankles, and it will help them warm up. Doing a specific joint warm up will help you avoid injuries that can be very common in races like these. And um, yeah, trust me, your body will thank you for that in the long run. Oh, and also, I suggest you not do it only before the race, but uh, before every training as well, because the race is not the only time when you do not want to get injured. So just try to make it a habit as well. When you do your general warm-up, just take some time to warm up your joints as well. Tip number four is to keep breathing. I found that there are a lot of people when they do any kind of very challenging activities, they tend to hold their breath back just in order to make some effort, but that's actually very not smart because your uh, muscles and also your brain, they just need the oxygen. And especially if you're doing a runoff race uh, inside a building, the air ventilation might not be ideal. So it like, <laughs> So your body needs the oxygen even more. 
So make sure that like at any <clears throat> ordinary running race, you pay attention to your breathing. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. Make sure you have a steady um, breathing pattern uh, and that will help improve your performance a lot. And my last tip is to remember this is not a sprint, it's like a marathon. Don't just start out running up the stairs at the beginning because your quads will start burning very fast, you will be super out of breath and just done before half of the distance. Unless you have been training for these races for months and you're a pro, then of course just go ahead, crush it. However, if you're not very good at stairs uh, or if you're not very fit but just wanted to participate in this event because of your friends or something, then I suggest you to take it easy, especially at the beginning. So just think about it as a marathon, it's going to be a longer race, so you have to sustain a certain level of energy throughout the whole time. So what I suggest is to do a brisk walk instead of running, this way um, you will be able to keep up your energy levels the whole time, just pay attention to your breathing, make sure uh, that you, your form is good, you can use your whole body, you can use your upper body for momentum, that will help you a lot, or some people suggest using the rail at the side. Uh, just make sure that you're not overdoing it, that you're um, timing your energy properly and this way you will be able to finish the race for sure. So these were my top tips for these kind of stairs running races. Please, again, if you have experience in this topic, let us know down in the comments below. It would help not just me, but everyone else watching. And if you have just completed the race, especially after watching my video, please let me know how it went. I'm wishing good luck for everyone participating in Taipei 101 Run Up 2018 and all other running races. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!